freehand positioning and setup. The freehand collaborative robot is made up of several items, which when not in use are stored on the freehand cart. The control box powers the robotic motion assembly via the mains cable. The headset allows the surgeon to select the direction of scope movement. The foot switch moves the scope in the chosen direction and the indicator unit displays the direction of scope movement to the surgeon. The freehand collaborative robot works with a sterile patient pack made of a sterile sleeve to cover the freehand arm and a sterile zoom module to hold the scope. Position guidance. The positioning guidance is designed to help decide how best to place the freehand collaborative robot or cobot for each patient. The position of the patient on the operating table can vary depending on the type of surgery. This will decide where the surgeon stands and where the freehand cobot is best placed. The surgeon defines the expected range of vision required from camera trocar position for the operation and hence the resultant midline position. The last part of the freehand arm will be placed in line with this and parallel to the operating table. The surgeon decides where the required trocars for the surgical instruments are best placed. The freehand arm height and angulation can be adjusted to avoid clashes between the arm and the instruments. The surgeon identifies where to stand. The monitor is positioned opposite the surgeon. The control box is positioned where it will not interfere with either patient care or the surgical procedure, with the arm typically opposite the surgeon. The last part of the freehand arm is pointing along the chosen midline, providing the optimal range of vision to the surgeon. The operating ports are well spaced from the arm, allowing for the necessary manipulation of the surgical instruments. The surgeon is positioned opposite to the monitor screen, where the indicator unit is placed. This gives a clear line of sight for communication between the surgeon and the freehand cobot. The freehand arm is set at the correct height for both patient size and surgery type, allowing optimal movement of the scope and instruments. Setup. Place the indicator unit on the top of the monitor at the midpoint. Ensure that the indicator unit is secured with the clamps provided before being set at the correct height and angle to allow the line of sight to the headset that will be worn by the surgeon. Plug in the indicator unit to display this image. Warning, care should be taken throughout this process as the loosening of the freehand arm knob relaxes the tension of the entire arm. To avoid any damage, it is important that two hands are always used in supporting the freehand cobot. Adjust the freehand arm from the storage to the transfer position. And then loosen the control box clamp to allow removal from the trolley rail. Transfer the freehand cobot from the trolley to the required position on the operating table rail. Secure the control box in place by tightening the clamp knob shown. Loosen the knob and move the freehand arm into the park position by extending it straight along the edge of the table and then tighten the knob. This will help make the sterile sleeve, zoom placement and patient draping easier. The type of surgery and size of patient will dictate the height of the freehand arm. This can be adjusted using the indicator knob on the control box. Once the control box is in place, check that the RMA cable is attached and then attach and position the foot switch and power cables. Please note the correct procedure for connecting or disconnecting the RMA and foot switch cables. The headset should be placed with the switch facing up at the midpoint of the surgeon's head and one finger width above the eyebrow. To secure it in place, please tighten the headband using the toggle clamp shown. With the headset now in line with the indicator unit, it should be turned on. Confirmation of pairing is observed with a change in the indicator unit display to this image. The patient is prepared for surgery and then draped. The sterile patient pack is made up of two parts, the sterile sleeve and the zoom module. Fitting the sterile sleeve is undertaken first. Unpack the sleeve and grasp the plastic gasket by placing a hand into the sleeve at the level marked by the blue arrow. Ease the gasket over the foot of the tilt assembly, ensuring the pattern of the foot and gasket match and the blue tab is at the top. Pull the sleeve gently over the arm, all the way down to the control box, 
taking care to preserve outer sleeve surface sterility. Ensure that the blue knob marker is aligned with the black arm knob. Finally, use the securing tapes to loosely tidy up the sleeve while allowing for unrestricted robotic movement. The zoom module is prepared for attachment to the tilt assembly by first connecting the camera quick release clip. On the sleeve, remove the blue gasket tab and then proceed to attach the zoom module. The zoom module is carefully lined up with the foot grooves of the tilt assembly and then eased down until it locks into place. Please note that the sterile sleeve has been removed for clarity in this section. Holding the freehand arm at its end enables both safe support and activation of the LED before loosening the knob to move it into the working position. The correct height and optimum position are achieved by pressing and holding the LED activation button and moving the arm until the three LED converge to form a single point on the skin surface where the camera port is positioned. Care should also be taken to ensure that the final part of the freehand arm is parallel to the operating table and pointing along the desired midline. Once the optimum position has been achieved, known as the goniometric point, then the knob is firmly tightened. The scope is inserted into the camera quick release clip and advanced until its tip is in line with the end of the trocar. The thumb wheel is then tightened to securely hold the scope in place. Manual rotation of the scope will still be possible if required. Now switch on the control box, taking care not to de-sterilize the patient drapes. The freehand arm will then perform some diagnostic checks and a pairing sequence. The speed of movement is indicated by the amber light and can be altered by pressing the plus or minus buttons. The arm will now be paired with the other components and the indicator unit should display directional arrows, meaning the freehand cobot is ready to use. Freehand Surgeon, enjoy the view.